Hello race fans, this is Steve-O and this is a photo finish update for your 149th running of the Kentucky Derby. Uh, this is Saturday morning as I'm recording this. I recorded my thoughts on the race earlier in the week and we've had a lot of chaos since then. So uh, let me bring everybody up to speed. <clears throat> we've had quite a few scratches uh, and a lot of news and notes. So one of the biggest stories out of the week, uh, midweek was that trainer Safi Joseph Jr. has been suspended by Churchill Downs. Uh, two of his horses uh, basically just dropped dead after races earlier in this meet, earlier in the week. And so uh, Churchill Downs stepped in, uh, the racing commission, uh, and asked him not to run his horses. I think he agreed to pull all of his horses except for <clears throat> the horse he had running in the Kentucky Derby, which was uh, the 19 horse. That was uh, Lord Miles. So when he refused to do that, they stepped in, they suspended him. Uh, they pulled all of his horses for weekend races, including Lord Miles. Trying to figure out what's going on with those horses, um, why they died. Uh, there have been five horses died during the Churchill Downs meet so far, and so that's concerning, although two of those did pass away because of injuries sustained at the track. <clears throat> so Safi Joseph Jr. is claiming that he's the scapegoat. Uh, that there's nothing wrong with these horses, um, but obviously something happened to them and they don't know why. So something to keep an eye on there going forward, but uh, the 19 horse, uh, Laura Miles got scratched uh, early this week. Uh, the 20 horse, Continuar, uh, got scratched on, I believe it was Wednesday. Uh, his trainer believed that uh, he was not ready to run in a race of this magnitude. Thursday, uh, Practical Move uh, scratched. That was late Thursday night. Uh, Practical Move was running a fever. Um, that was your Santa Anita Derby winner who I was high on. It's definitely going to be using some of that horse. Uh, Friday morning, Skinner scratched. Also running a fever. Uh, Skinner was another horse I was taking a hard look at. That was your third place finisher in the Santa Anita Derby. So Skinner scratched on Friday. And then the breaking news out of Churchill Downs is that the uh, trackside veterinarian after a morning workout has scratched the favorite forte. Obviously, if you've been listening to me talk about this race for some time, forte was a horse I liked. I rode him up, my pick to win, and uh, they scratched him this morning. The vet uh, said that he was not okay to run this race. I, right before I started recording, I saw that uh, forte's owner and trainer Todd Fletcher both disagreed uh, strongly with the the vet's decision to scratch Forte. They've been working him out all week. <clears throat> I've seen videos of the workout. He looked fine to me. I'm by no means an expert, but you know we got to defer to the uh, trackside veterinarians who are responsible for keeping these animals safe. So uh, Forte, your favorite, is now scratched. So where does that leave us heading into the 149th running of the Kentucky Derby? Um, <clears throat> My second choice, let me throw this up here, was Angel of Empire. Uh, I still like Angel of Empire a whole lot, especially now without Forte in this race. Angel of Empire is a Brad Cox horse, won the Arkansas Derby uh, going away. Uh, I think this horse is in really good form. You can see here, I've got the time form numbers up. Uh, you can see Angel of Empire has just steadily improved his numbers each time out, um, including that grade one Arkansas Derby win. Uh, grade 2 Risen Star uh, back in February before that. So Angel Vampire is my pick to win. I have um, gone back and forth between two other horses um, in the six Kings Barns. Lightly raced another Todd Pletcher horse. you got to figure Todd Pletcher is going to really want to win this race now that uh, his best chance Forte has been scratched. Uh, Jose Ortiz on board, so a uh, good rider there. Um, you wonder um, if we get some jockey changes here uh, since uh, Forte was scheduled to be ridden by Irad Ortiz Jr., who, in my opinion, is the best jockey uh, in the country. You have to figure out, figure that he will pick up a mount somewhere else. Which horse he gets put on, I don't know. Uh, will he bump his brother off of uh, the six Kings Barnes or... Will Pletcher put him on Tappet Trice um, and bump Luis Saez? Tappet Trice, I will say, if if Irad Ortiz somehow picks up Tappet Trice, 
I would be interested in five. I've not been interested in five all week. Um, five to one, I was just taking a stand. Um, he has not broken well in his last few races. Uh, if he blows the break here, you know, now 18 horse field, that's hard to recover from. So, but if Iraq gets the mount, um, I, I would definitely reconsider using tap and try. So we'll, we'll have to keep an eye on that as the day um, moves on. The other horse I wanted to highlight that I uh, is now in the field. So, um, so all these also eligibles are now in the field. Cyclone Mischief, uh, Mandarin Hero, and King Russell were your uh, also eligibles or your alternates. Uh, because of all the scratches, they are all in the field. Uh, I don't see anything really in the 21 now, Cyclone Mischief, uh, third best to uh, several horses in this race. Um, Forte is now scratched, but Mage and Rocket can. Um, just don't think he quite has the speed numbers. Uh, Manor and Hero is a horse I liked. He was impressive in the Santa Anita Derby. Finished second by nose to Practical Move. Practical Move is now scratched. Uh, I'm going to be using some of Mandarin Hero in my card. Uh, King Russell is another interesting one. Um, hadn't been uh, in anything, uh, you know, any races of any magnitude. Was struggling in some, you know, see, you see here $90,000 maiden races. Struggling to win. Finally going to win. Put him in the Arkansas Derby. 58 to 1, he somehow came in second. Although Angel of Empire, I mean, was just running away with it. Uh, 50 to 1. It may be a little long, but I, I just don't think this horse has the talent to compete with the other horses in this race. So I'm not going to be using now the, uh, I think that's the 23 horse, King Russell. So my pick to win uh, is Angel of Empire. I'm going to be playing a Exacta box and a Tri box. So I'm going to use three horses for both of those. Angel of Empire, King's Barnes, and Mandarin Hero. I'm also going to be putting together some exotics with some longer shots. I'm going to use the three horse, two fills. Um, I think despite his uh, numbers on synthetic surface, I think it may have inflated his number just a little bit in his last start. Uh, but I think this horse could hit the board. So I'm going to be using two fills. I'm going to be using the eight uh, mage who was second in the Florida Derby to Forte and was you remember Mage was out front, you know, thought he had a chance to win, and Forte just came from behind last second. So Mage is a horse that I wasn't necessarily on earlier in the week, but with all the scratches, uh, I think I'll be using the eight in some way. Just one long shot to give you that I uh, kind of talked myself into a little bit is Reincarnate. Uh, 50 to 1 on the morning line. Uh, be interesting to see where his odds end up. Uh, finished third in the Arkansas Derby again to Angel of the Empire and King Russell, but um, speed numbers have actually been decent and they've been improving, so Tim Yakteen, uh, Johnny Velasquez, who I think is a fantastic jockey, I, I don't think this horse can win this race, but I think he could certainly contend, especially if he uh, is on or near the early lead, which I expect he will be. He's kind of a, a front-of-the-pack running style uh, real good early speed. So if he's right there on the lead, he could kind of hang on and, and um, hit the board. Uh, certainly in uh, some trifectas and superfectas, I'll have some of the seven. So 14, Angel of Empire is my pick to win. 14-6, uh, <clears throat> 22, uh, exact and trifecta box. That's uh, Angel of Empire, Kings Barnes, and Mandarin Hero. Uh, and I will be using some of Mage. Uh, two fields and um, reincarnate. So that's kind of where I have now wound up. Hopefully we don't have any more scratches uh, between now and post time. But if we do, I'll try and get an article up on spinablesports.com. So keep an, keep an eye out there for your latest news and notes throughout the rest of the day. So hopefully uh, we can hit a winner and uh, good luck to everybody out there.